One love. I am Aya Fire, the human tree of life here in the heart of Jamaica. Sending love to your beating heart. Recently in our area in Jamaica, in the hills of North Clarendon, a lot of trees are being cut down by the Jamaican government, JPS, Jamaican Public Service, to clear the way for the electric wires on the light poles, supposedly. But they came into the area with these power saws and they just started cutting down the trees. Even some of the trees that weren't close to the road, people's fruit trees. Trees that have been there for many years, planted by the ancestors of the people in the area. A friend of mine had his breadfruit tree cut down and the breadfruit tree wasn't even close to the road. People need to be more sensitive to trees. The planet cannot survive without trees. Humanity cannot survive without trees. Trees give us the air that we breathe. Even the water that we drink would not be here without trees because the roots of the trees affect the springs, the underground rivers. There are many countries in the Caribbean that the rivers have completely dried up because they cut down the trees. The world is an ecosystem. Everything is connected. And beyond the physical level, trees have consciousness. Trees have energy, consciousness, which is aware. Not in the same sense as humans, perhaps in an even more intelligent sense than we can comprehend. That's why all the cultures of the world have an intuitive understanding traditionally that trees have elemental spirits which are conscious and able to communicate with humanity. Trees give us, give us fruits. Trees give us fruits. Trees give us wood to make furniture and to build houses. We need to be more sensitive as human beings towards trees. You can cut down a tree without killing it. You can cut down a tree at a certain level that it springs back again. These people, when they came into our area, they just cut it so that it could not grow back again. They were inconsiderate. And most of the people were untrained. There's ways of cutting trees down that you don't affect the life of the tree. And when we realize this, we can just relax in the notion, everything is love. That's how it's supposed to be, love towards everything, love towards the rivers, the trees, the birds and the bees. We have a reciprocal relationship with all nature. We are one. People who live in the city maybe don't have this relationship with trees that the people in the country do. But even if you live in the city, you can still help to spread the message that we must 
protect our trees. We must love our trees. Plant a tree, if possible. <laughs> if every human being plants a tree, there'll be more forests and woods in this world. There'll be more oxygen in this world. There'll be more bees which get pollen from the flowers in the trees and the flowers which help to propagate food and vegetables that we human beings eat. Show love to the trees. This is the message from Aya Fire, the human tree of life. Here in the heart of Jamaica. My love is a burning flame. I a love is a burning flame. My love is a burning flame, but together we are blazing fire. Protect the trees. One love.